What do you got for me tonight, buddy? Well, uh, I like your list and your the quadrants that you made. I would suggest. Um, <clears throat> okay, so the unplugged beta, the archetype would generally be black pill, doom pill people, right? There are some guys that go into that category. Absolutely, yeah. Well, I would say. Well, I refer to like ro- what Rolo said, right? Where not every man can be alpha. And so like the beta is probably going to be the alpha's best friend because for every alpha, he's going to have good friends who are also beta. Mm-hmm. And when you have so many people that have that trauma and are, you know, looking for, they're looking for some type of community to go to. And so sometimes they plug into that doom pill community. They could mm-hmm. they consume that. Mm-hmm. Well, what would be a good way to tap into that community to kind of transform them in a way to actually help? Them? Did you did you catch the show from the start, or did you jump in kind of halfway through? Yeah, I watched from the beginning. Yeah. Okay. So so the um, unplugged beta guys, um, you know, when you're talking about assisting with their transformation, a lot of them don't want to deal with the solution. They just want to be mad. Okay. And there's nothing that you or I or anybody can do about that. If, if that's their choice and that's where they want to be, cool. You know, you can commiserate, you can sulk and wallow, you know, you can be upset everybody else because just being yourself was not good enough. You know, women, society, uh, making serious bank requires some serious work, some serious changes. Um, like I said, again, when I kicked it off, it's very, very unlikely that you're ever going to move most of these people into a category where they you know, get to the self actualization. What was it? It was Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Did you, do you remember that from school? Yeah. You know, at the very bottom, it's like the basic needs and at the very top, it's like the self actualization. That's what the unplugged alpha is. Okay. The, the unplugged beta guys, they just aren't willing to do the work. You know, a lot of these guys are like, well, if guys like Brad Pitt couldn't do it and, you know, keep a girl down, you know, what chance do you have? You know, like, and then they kind of like make up reasons why they, they don't want to move to that area, which is fine. You know, stay there. You know, you see the code in the matrix, you see the truth, but if you're going to stay around and get mad, that's not your responsibility, my responsibility, or anybody else to assist them in their transformation. Transformation comes from within. You have to actually like make a decision yourself to update your beliefs and say, okay, this is where I want to go in life. These are the choices that I need to make to go there in life and then start doing the work every day. Well, what would you, what would you advise a person who does deal with that anger? You know, because that, that's kind of where me, are you mad right person, now? Like, are you still pissed off? I mean, I'm not, I mean, I think that it's more of an existential anger. If you know, so Moff has a question for you. Are you making six figures yet? No, but uh, I mean, I'm on my path. Right? Sorry. So you're on your yeah. path. Oh yeah. Okay. But the tra- but that transformation it takes time, right? Yeah. It's yeah. There's it, no it, there's no like fingers that I can click to make this like happen overnight, right? Like this is a slow progressive movement of you making better choices every day, every week, every month, every year that are going to get you to where you want to be. I mean, I'm close to 50. I didn't get there when I was 20 or 30, right? Like it took me a long time to get to where I'm at. And I didn't fully unplug from society's lies until I was like 39, 40, dude. Right. But I figured out the money part early on, right? Like I figured out how to make bank in my like 30, 31 years old. Like that's, that's when I started, you know, to hit like the full stride. So Don't be mad, be better is basically what it boils down to. Like get into the gym, lift weights, improve your physique, uh, figure out, you know, what your calling in life might be. Start doing stuff, go out, experience things, travel, you know, put yourself in in different rooms, take up new hobbies that that might give you experience and exposure to better people. Um, But taking daily steps towards excellence is, it's not like a, pop a pill and rub a cream under your eye and lose, you know, 20 years of wrinkles and, you know, 20 pounds in three days by popping the, that, 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 that uh, pill. 
It's it's slow progressive changes every single day in your life, and 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 sitting around being mad is a wrong place to be. Like, what do you like? What do you spend your time doing when you're not leveling up? Like, do you watch YouTube videos, or are you on social platforms? Are you on Reddit? You play video games? Like, what do you do? Uh, well, you know, I'm always reading. I mean, I'm, I'm what are you reading? Always... Philosophy, Robert Greene. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, I'm on a block right now. I'm on a philosophy binge. Mm -hmm. But just in general, I mean, for some, like me, I, I'm speaking me personally because I kind of identify with a little bit with each of the archetypes, right? Yeah, like I said earlier, you know, that you could take like an oval circle and kind of blend over like two or three or maybe even four of them. Yeah, and. You know, I think that you're 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 more on the top category, okay? But you're more in the beta side than you are on the alpha side because I can tell that you're not you're not getting all the results that you want. And you're still more on the pissed right. off side. So maybe there's some overlap there, you know, somewhere between the unplugged alpha and the unplugged beta. But you're more on the unplugged beta side. Yeah, well, I mean, that's okay, right? Because every, like eighty percent of people are likely going to be beta. And well, still get well, I mean, the point being is recognize where you're standing, what the starting point is, because that's A. Then, then, then paint a picture, paint a vision of what B looks like, and then every day do things that get you closer to B. If you're if you're doing things that don't get you closer to that vision, to that to, you know to that accomplishment of B, stop doing them. Right. I mean, like you've got to be willing. It's, it's right here. I mean, David just he put the words in my mouth. You have to be willing to do what the others aren't willing to do. And it's dressed in overalls and it looks like work and it's going to be hard and it's going to be different and it's going to be uncomfortable, but it's, but it's going to be worth it if you want it bad enough. Well, 100%. Does that make yeah. sense? Oh yeah. I, I think that a lot of people, especially in the black girl, I, I really do. I pity them and I feel bad for them because do you, do you, do you consume black pill content? Cause I've heard you mention that term a few times I mean, now. I really don't even know what black pill content is. But okay. Just... okay, so let me put it to you this way. So what do you spend time watching when you're watching YouTube? Like what YouTube channels do you watch? Uh, usually red pill stuff. <laughs> uh, well, you're calling it red pill, but maybe it's not. So what do you watch? I mean, Rich Cooper, Trey Francis. I mean, uh, just like the news, you know. News? News clips, you know, Tucker Carlson. Why do you but watch I news? Mean, or just history, a lot of history. Okay, but like, why do you watch news? Well, that's a really good question. Um, because news is mainstream media. And if you go back to the quadrants on that screen, people that are plugged in watch mainstream media and news. Do you have cable? No. Where do you watch news? Uh, just YouTube clips, pretty much. Yeah, so don't don't like you know un unsubscribe from those channels. It's like it's like walking down the sidewalk and you see a piece of dog shit there, and then stepping in the dog <laughs> shit, and then getting mad because you stepped in the dog shit instead of walking around it. Like that's what the news is basically going to serve you. It's going to serve you dog shit. It's it's designed to create outrage. Are you on my email list, turtle? No, I'm not you should get on my email list because I just added a documentary to it, which you're not going to see anywhere else. And I can't talk about publicly here. Let me put the banner up again. So you guys have it. Get on my email list. That's the, that's the URL. I think it's like the eighth email on my list. All of the emails have something important. They're spaced out a day or two. Just get on the list and watch that documentary that I send out. And it breaks down exactly what they're, what they're feeding you, why they feed it to you. It's very, very clear. I should, I shared the video in my community over the weekend and there was a lot of top shelf guys. Like I'm talking like multimillionaires that watch it and they're like, this this is very accurate. This is the most accurate thing I've ever seen. Well, I'll check it out. Yeah. Um, I would just like that to, to add that like a lot of the, when I, I mean, stuff on YouTube, I'm only half watching like it's not in the background, kind of like white noise, right? But the main thing that uh, that I have done which has provided a buffer from going down the doom mm -hmm. hill is that I do work out. I do read books. I, you know, am journaling and working on myself. 
Okay. You know, and so I, I'm saying to look at these quadrants as like a market, as like, uh, you know, different sectors of the market. Mm-hmm. You know, there has to be a way to kind of help the despair among men. Why, why are you trying to save everybody else when your life is screwed up? Well, I wouldn't say my life is screwed up. Well, you don't want to, well, you're not at where you want to be. And one of the reasons why you're not at where you want to be is because you're trying to fix the world before you fix yourself. I would say that I want to provide what I can. You're not in a position to bring anybody anywhere because you can only bring people as far as you've come. That's like one of the things that drives me nuts about, you know, a lot of people that broadcast stuff on social media and YouTube is they purport to be something, but they've only done work for a few years and you can only bring somebody to where you've gotten to. And if you haven't achieved the pinnacle of success, you're not in a position to be talking about anything. You really shouldn't listen to people that are talking about that stuff. To me, whenever I see these guys that are younger, it's like... you. <laughs> You are not in a position to offer any advice to anybody. You haven't lived anything. You haven't seen anything, right? You've done nothing with your life. So when you're seeking advice, ask yourself, would I trade lives with this person? You know, has this person done anything of any significance, right? One of the things that you'll see a lot of these guys that like to sulk and commiserate, they're like, oh, well, uh, I don't know what do they say about me. Oh, like, oh, Rich uh, got divorced. So what does he know about women? Or what does he know about marriage? Or what does he know about like this, that, or the other thing? It's like, the very fact that I went through the entire process from beginning to end qualifies me to talk about the process. You know, the fact that I've talked to over a thousand men now one-on-one qualifies me to talk about the process. I don't need a piece of paper on the wall framed in mahogany with little letters after my name. That's why I get paid more, way more in fact, than many of these like qualified, you know, APA certified, you know, board certified psychotherapists that are utterly useless, you know, for the most part, you know, with the exception of a very small handful. But the point that I'm making, though, is, is, is don't worry about other people's problems. Don't let their problems become your problems. Un- unplugged alphas don't let other people's problems become their problems. They just walk away from it. I'll tell you, you know, the other day I had a guy on a phone call and he was a vendor and he was behind on something and he's giving me all the reasons why he's behind on the project. And I just said to him, I got look, Don't make your problems my problems. This is what I expected. This was the deadline date. Figure it out, right? If you're not qualified to do it, then I'll find somebody else that can do it. I don't want to spend time there figuring out what his problems are so that he can take care of my problems that I'm paying him to fix, right? That's that's one of the areas that you're going wrong with, Turtle, is, is you're spending way too much time thinking, well, you know, if we just raise the tide, all the ships will come up. That's not your responsibility. You have a responsibility to yourself and nobody else. Fix that first. Well, Rich, I really appreciate your hey buddy. I'm here for feedback you, man. and your challenge. And it's always a pleasure. Thank you for thank you for all right, man. Uh, you got it. You. Take care. Right. Peace.